In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the vowel a as in bad. The vowel a as in bad can sound different depending on the consonant that follows it. Um, when we have the same vowel in a word like ban, bad, ban, they sound different. Uh, the first um, most obvious is that the a can pick up um, nasalization from the following consonant. Bad, ban. So um, there's the nasalization factor, and that's a phonetic um, that's a phonetic difference. So that will be shown in a narrow transcription. There's still the question of the quality of the vowel. The vowel still sounds a bit different. So what's happening? Well, for one, when I say bad, bad, you can see that my jaw drops and my mouth is relatively open, bad. When I say ban, ban, you see that my mouth is a little flatter. Uh, my mouth does not open as much. The fact that my mouth is not open as, as much, that my jaw doesn't drop as much, means that the space between my tongue and the other articulators is going to be smaller. So that can give you the perception that the, that the vowel is a higher vowel. Um, so remember that the, the front vowels are e, i, e, e, a. So you might start to hear it as one of the higher vowels. You might also notice that there's an extra sound creeping in. There's a little hint of a schwa in transition between the a and the n. So we do ban, 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 okay? That is in transition, so you're, um, it's great that you can hear that sound, um, but it won't be transcribed in uh, broad transcription. It is just a, a transition between the two phonemes. Um, one of the things you can do is when you're trying to identify sounds and you think, I hear something different, if you thought the sound might have raised to eh, you can look at sounds like or look at minimal pairs like pen and pan. If those vowels merged, then pen and pan would be pronounced identically. Band and bend would be pronounced identically. Um, and I don't think that's going to be the case. Um, the word can, however, is special. Uh, it's a function word we use a lot. And so when we talk about can, like the ability to do something, it will often reduce um, to other vowels. So um, that one can change, can, that one can change. Uh, it can raise to can, especially in the beginning of a question. Can I, can I do that? And it's going to be pronounced just like the name Ken. Ken, Ken. Um, it can also turn into just a schwa when it's in a sentence and it's really weak. Uh, it's not the important part. Like, I can do it. I can do it, I can do it, um, or we can do it. Sounds just like weaken, like weaken um, your muscles. Um, so that that can change a lot, but that's a that's a, um, a function word that reduces. Um, but when we're talking about content words like pan and man, um, you're gonna notice that there's a little schwa-like um, vowel coming in, man, man. Um, but it's still going to be transcribed broadly with the ash.